biggest plays was Terrell's turnaround jumper. I thought that got us going. And then Xavier made some big time plays down the stretch. And uh, you know, for Trey to step up and to knock those free throws in was was huge. And so uh really proud. You know, we found a way to win. It wasn't pretty. Um, their zone bothered us and how it bothered us was that it got in our head and guys lost confidence and we stopped attacking. We we played on our heels. And that's why that last three minutes was so good because we forgot everything that had happened up to that point. And we focused on that moment and we stepped up and made the necessary plays to win. So really proud of us uh, and look forward to going on the road and hopefully playing well again. Jeff, what does it say about Xavier and Trey that, like you said, they both struggled from the field, but Xavier has that layup with 40 seconds left and then Trey is three. Yeah, I mean, Xavier's three, the layup, going through contact, but he was decisive. You know, it wasn't hesitant. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, those are big time plays. It's any time, but especially when you've had the afternoon like he was having. And for him in that moment to forget everything and to be who he is and to do that, for us to be able to get the ball in bounds down the stretch, we struggled with that against Boston College, knowing that they were going to, we struggled with that. For us to be able to A, get the ball in bounds, and then B, for Trey to step up and make those free throws. Those are big time plays. Jeff, you struggled from three point range, but a Trey made a couple threes back to back late in the second half. How much did that maybe change the confidence that, you know, that a guy found some success there? I mean, it changed it, but again, we were still a little bit hesitant. We, we were still in our heads a little bit. Um, those were big plays, though, because they had gone on a run and that got us the lead back. and we were able to extend it a little bit. Uh, but give credit to Miami. I mean, that was a smart decision by them at that point to go zone. And, um, you know, they really packed the, you know, you know, packed the zone in. And then their guys made some big-time plays. Beverly made some big-time drives. Um, you know, they stepped up and made free throws. You know, I thought the difference in the game, though, was, you know, I, I, I thought we dominated the glass, especially on the offensive end. Um, you know, we felt coming into this game that's something that we could exploit, and our guys did a good job of doing that. How do you get your guys to attack more against the zone, maybe get more movement? Well, we got good shots. We got movement. We just didn't make shots, and we were hesitant. The zone made us hesitant. We still we, – we, we got movement, but when a guy is not guarding you and you're missing shots, that can get in your head, and that's what happened. And so – we just have to be confident. You know, earlier in the year when we played Northwestern, they did that to Justin. They just didn't guard him. And we kept telling them to shoot. As long as they're good shots, we don't mind them because they're our shots. And you know, we'll live with the result. And I thought we were getting pretty good shots. Some of them weren't a few because we didn't drive in there with conviction. We were driving there hoping. We were driving hoping, hoping that I get a call or hoping that they don't come over. You know, that last play Xavier made, that was a drive with conviction, and that's what we have to be all the time. How do you get your guys to change that mentality mid-game? I mean, is something you said to them, something that clicked for them? Well, we just continue to encourage and tell them, you know, during that last, me you know, the under four media timeout, we, we, we've we talked about that. Forget everything that's happened is 0-0 zero, zero right now. We have to win, you know, win this. I think it was 354 on the clock. We have to win this last 354. And forget about everything. Concentrate on right now and finish. And again, our guys stepped up and made big plays. Yeah, you've been talking about rebounding all year. Are you guys turning the corner? I wouldn't say we're turning the, you know, we did a good job today. I wouldn't say that that's turning the corner. We did a good job this afternoon. You know, I think, you know, Miami has not rebounded the ball well this year. I think when we played at their place, I think we got 16 offensive rebounds. So it's something we thought we could exploit. Uh, we still have to do a better <coughs> job. We did a much better job in the second half today than we did the first. So I, we haven't turned the corner. But maybe we put you know a little bit of an indent into the page. Jeff, with X, how do you walk that line between encouraging him to shoot while also trying to hope he takes maybe smart shots and not just the ones that are available? Yeah, I thought in the first half, you know, maybe there were some that were a little bit forced, and then I thought in the second half he was hesitant. And so, look, we, we tell all of our guys, this is the way I coach. Okay, if they're good shots, I'm okay with them. If they're good shots, I'm okay with them. I'll tell you if it's a bad shot. And what I consider a bad shot may not be what someone else considers, but I'm the one that matters. And so 
I want my guys to have confidence in shooting the basketball. I don't want them to be hesitant. And when they are, we tell them about it. You know, it happens in practice with us where guys will miss a shot or miss a couple and all of a sudden they start passing up shots and I'd stop the practice and tell them to shoot the damn ball. Um, and so I want our guys to have confidence in themselves like I have in them when it's a good shot. Jeff, what have you noticed that's been different about the way our has been playing? Obviously, statistically, really on a, on a hot tear, but what, what, what has gone into that in your opinion? I think the work. I think he's gotten healthier. You know, he's bouncier now. I think he's more confident um, in shooting the basketball. Excuse me. I think one of the things that's gone up, you know, very, very underrated is what he's done defensively. Obviously, what he's done scoring the ball the past, you know, couple of weeks. But what he's done defensively, man, what he did to DJ today, you know, against Cassius Stanley, against Duke, um, in the first half against Syracuse, he did it to, you know, to Elijah Hughes. And Bayheim went nuts. We made the switch, and <laughs> then he shut down Bayheim in the second half. Um, you know, how he's defended war. I, I think he's one of the better defenders in our league. And I think his offensive game has continued to get better as he's gotten more confidence. Do you expect Murphy Not sure. Not sure. It depends on how he's recovering from the concussion. Coach, you mentioned a lot of shots that were just people driving and hoping. Do any plays come to mind for you on that? Uh, yeah, there were several. I mean, I don't know the time period of it, but there were several where Xavier, Trey, those two guys, you know, drove in there hoping maybe to draw a foul instead of going in there and concentrating on finishing. You said to win the last 354. What's the difference between hoping and actually doing it? I mean, what, what did you see that clicked for these guys that they were able to do it? There was just conviction. You know, there wasn't hesitation. I think that's the main thing. There wasn't hesitation. You know, it's our shot. And when you have it, shoot it. And that's what they did. Unfortunately, they went in. Without Murph, you went mostly with the guys you usually play. A couple more minutes for Onye, but what went into the decision to just go with the guys and, and not try to play a deeper bench? We don't have a deeper bench. Mm -hmm. Gerald played, Oni played, Kareem played. That's our scholarship guys without Murph. And Oni's not a scholarship guy. So that's who we had. That's who we played. I mean, so that's what we went with, who we had. Do you think any brought on the perimeter defense? I thought he was terrific. I thought he was terrific. And he's been really good for us in practice. You know, he defended, he passed, he ran our team, he didn't turn the I mean, he I thought he was really, really good. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah.